Miles Ingram, folks. I'm on the way to another service call. And guys, I'm not sure if this is a recall or if something funny is going on here, but guys, the landlord has a triplex and each 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 tenant has their own um, separate AC system. And the landlord said that I guess they had a power outage and two of the three units aren't working. And he tried turning the breakers off and on and one of the two units turned on, but the other one, he said, the fan is making a loud noise. So I don't know what's going on, but I'm actually on the way here now to, to go take a look. But yeah, guys, I'm going to, I'm almost here. I'm like less than five minutes away, but yeah, guys, I looked at my records. I believe we added refrigerant to one of those two units, um, but I don't know which one he was saying that was making a noise, but I'm just curious. Most of the time, electrical problems, usually something will stop working or trip or breaker, but he said that, I guess the power went out and they don't have generators in this area, but he said that as soon as they restore power, one of those two units, it, it came on, but it was making like a loud noise, so inside, so I'm curious as to what's going on, but yeah, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot more footage when we go inside. I'm just curious. I know for sure, guys, that we we came out here last fall to do the heat maintenance and everything was running. I don't think anything was done to the motor inside, but let's take a look once we get in here. I'll shoot I'll shoot again once we get inside, guys. I'll see you in a little bit. Peace. All right, guys. I'm waiting for the thermostat to turn on, and he said it was these two units. I believe. That's the basement unit, that's the second floor, and that's the first floor. But he said the second floor one was okay, but the first floor, this is the one that was making the noise. So right now, I'm just waiting for the time delay to turn off on that thermostat, and I'm gonna see how this thing sounds. I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, this turned on. I do hear it. I'm not sure if something's stuck in the unit, but. You do hear it, it's kind of like a. Weird sound here. All right, let's take a look at the bottom here. All right, guys. I just jumped out R to G, so I didn't have to wait for the time to look again. But yeah, I think this is the motor that we put in a few months ago, if not a year ago. It was one of these two. Now, we had a refrigerant to this unit, to the second floor, and I think the motor was put in here. But yeah, guys, they said, remember guys, the landlord and tenant said the AC works, it's just the noise. And you guys can hear it. And what's the only thing that they said that, that the noise happened after, I guess, the power outage happened. So, 5.83 is within range. And guys, I'm looking at the motor speed here for AC. Let me put my light on here so you guys can see. AC, we are using our high speed wire. What I wanna do guys, I'm probably gonna pull the housing out. I'm gonna look at that squirrel cage. I wanna make sure my squirrel cage isn't warped, but nothing looks caught inside of the, the blade. Before I, I put the door switch in guys, I looked at the blade, nothing, I didn't see any filter material or anything caught in the blade. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna end up pulling this assembly out. I want to look at the squirrel cage on both sides and I want to see what's going on. Let me do that. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys. I actually pulled the housing out and carefully I started the motor with the housing out of the unit and everything sounded normal. But I even tested the cap here. Everything was okay. Guys, I don't know electrically what happened with this motor, but I'm gonna put in 
another one and we'll honor this repair under warranty but yeah guys i actually never seen what the customer described as a power outage caused this to happen and of course everything was quiet and everything was running before a few months ago when we came here but yeah guys i'm gonna swap this out and we'll test this again once i put the new motor in but yeah scroll cage everything is rocking and rolling nothing's warped nothing's caught inside the motor it's just that whenever that thing runs it just makes that high pitch sound and everything is okay so and by the way this customer has a filter grill upstairs that's why we don't see one we don't see a filter down here so but yeah guys let me pop this new motor in and i'll test it again see you guys in a little bit all right guys real quick just to give you some context on the furnace 90 percent natural gas and this unit calls for a three-quarter horsepower motor this rescue that was in here has the capabilities of doing a three-quarter horse but guys most importantly make sure you put in the right size cap with the corresponding horsepower guys what that means as you can see with the label in a nutshell this three-quarter can still use a 10 microfarad cap but guys most importantly you need to understand that if you put in a bigger cap than what is rated for that could increase the starting torque on this motor so in a nutshell a bigger size cap than what this motor calls for could cause this thing to sound like a rocket on 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 startup and guys that noise will be unpleasant for the customer so make sure guys you know what the furnace calls for you can get that from the data plate and with if you guys are using oem go for it but if you guys are using rescue make sure you use the corresponding chart to know what size horsepower you need and it tells you the capacitor size and what wires to use so that's how i know where this 20 microfarad cap came from because that corresponded to three quarter horsepower and of course three quarter horsepower is what the furnace calls for but yeah guys you definitely don't want to mess up the capacitor size because it's only going to lead to more recalls but yeah guys i'm going to take that out i'm going to put the new motor in and once i hook it up we'll test this again i'll see you guys in a little bit all right guys i got the new motor in Importantly, you're not hearing that weird humming sound. My AC. I just heard the condenser turn on. But yeah, guys, I don't know. As far as what caused that to happen with that motor, I have no idea. But I know putting that same, using that same motor, it was definitely the return for the first floor tenant is like right above where we are. So any a pin drop from the unit they're probably going to hear it throughout the whole house so even though the ac was running i don't think it would have been helpful to keep the old motor in so and guys last thing you want to do is start swapping speeds because guys remember you need high speed for ac low speed with well, most units that's the speed you'll use for heat but like i said guys at that point don't be being that you know that sound i only heard it when it was hooked up when i took it out the noise went away I knew that something was probably going on inside that motor. Like I said, my squirrel cage is clean. Everything was everything is spot on inside the housing. The squirrel cage is in good shape. Nothing was stuck inside the housing. So, and the filter upstairs is clean. So, yeah, guys, this is just a weird service call, but I'm glad I got this customer rocking and rolling. But I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna check out that condenser. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Inside, everything's packed up. And night and day difference, you can hear. No humming sound. Yeah, I'm All gonna. Right, guys, everything's rocking and rolling. I literally just got another call that came in right around the corner from here, so can't beat that. I'm gonna rock out. Landlord is satisfied. Tenant is satisfied with the sound. Everything is rocking and rolling, and we're good to go. Peace out. I'll see you guys on the next one.